ready to start using your new Steel Series Arctis Nova 7? Let's get to it. Enjoy an unboxing video starting now. Jumping right in, to connect your Nova 7 to the PC, you have two options. Unless your PC has a USB-C port, you'll need to connect your dongle to the USB-A adapter cable, and then plug that cable into a USB-A port on your PC. Once connected, you can turn the headset on by pressing and holding the power button for one second. If you want to know if the headset is powered on, you can see the dongle LED increase brightness. The Nova 7 has Bluetooth capability and it can be used independently from the 2.4 GHz connection. If you haven't already connected a device, the headset will already be in pairing mode. After you're in pairing mode, go to your desired device. Select the Arctis Nova 7 in your device's Bluetooth settings and you should be good to go. To charge your headset, connect the charging cable from the headset's USB-C charging jack to any USB-C power source. The color of the power indicator LED indicates the battery level. One of your teammates whispering into their mic? Or worse, screaming through the game! ChatMix allows you to control how much you hear game audio versus how much you hear in-game chat. To use this feature, download the SteelSeries GG suite and navigate to the Sonar app at trysonar.gg. Once you download Sonar, the tutorial will help you set up your device as the Arctis Nova 7. You need to be on a PC to use this feature. Once you have Sonar set up, you can now change your game and chat volume with the chat mix dial on the side of the headset. At the middle position of the dial, your game and chat are full volume. Rotating the dial towards chat reduces the game volume and vice versa. If you have any questions, head over to our FAQ page or open a support ticket on the SteelSeries website. Now, go catch some dubs.